Welcome to Channel of Resolves, where we play a different deck every video. I'm Country Fried, and today we're bringing you Esper Midrange. Sorry for the late video. Let's take a look. Alright guys, just so we don't make this like a 10 minute deck list video, I'm just going to run through this really fast, really vague. I'm going to leave a link to the description or the deck list in the description below. You guys can definitely take a, take a peek at it if you want, but here's what I got for my Esper mid-range. And I say my Esper mid-range because I switched this up a lot as I was playing. So if you see different cards, I apologize, but this is where I landed with it. Uh, we got Make Disappear with a three of just to help counter. We got Infernal Grass for some spot removal at a two of. We got Meat Hook Massacre because we're running Tenacious Underdog and they kind of work hand in hand. Plus it's a board sweeper for us. We have wedding announcement that we could drop on as an enchantment to give us one one human creature tokens and then of course if you get three or uh on this with the three count that it flips and all your creatures get plus one plus one our creature package are malevolent hermit which i really like this card i've been wanting to use it for a while for a long while i think it's got more potential than uh i think it gets credit for but Malevolent Hermit comes in as two. Um, you can sack it for a blue. And then, of course, you counter a target non-creature spell unless its controller pays three. Then, of course, you can play it on its Benevolent Guy side for its disturbed cost of three. And then it's got flying as two, two, and non-creature spells you control can't be countered. We have Tenacious Underdog in here as a three of, just to help out. Probably one of the, one of the if not the best two drops in the game. Um, we got Denik in here, which is lifelink. It's two, three cards in the graveyards can't be target of spells or abilities, which really helps right now, especially with, uh, some of the stuff like the Grixis reanimators and stuff like that. Uh, Jun reanimator, Abzan reanimator, all reanimator decks. This kind of kills it. Uh, we got anointed peacekeeper in here because I actually like this card. I know it's not as good as spellbinder, but that three, three with vigilance is pretty tough to get around. And then of course, um, Whenever it enters the battlefield, you look at your opponent's hand, you select one of the card's names that you've seen during that game, and then spells your opponent cast with the chosen name costs two more to cast, and activated abilities as a source with chosen name costs two more to activate unless they're mana abilities. I know that doesn't sound great, but it does tend to slow down the game a little bit for our opponent, and that's always good for us. We do have a graveyard trespasser in here just to help us... Um, clean up the graveyards if at all possible if we need it uh we got rafine in here which fly in ward one it's one four and then whenever you attack attacking creature connives for x where x is the number of attacking creatures you've got going on and then of course if you discard a card that's not a land card then you can put a plus one plus one counter on that creature we got an Urtai in here, which can come in. You can counter a target spell activated ability or triggered ability. Its controller draws a card, or you could destroy another target creature or planeswalker. Its controller draws a card. So great kind of tempo, control your board state type of card. We have his Obscure Interceptor in here, which has flash as well and lifelink. It's 3-1. And then when it enters the battlefield, it connives. And when it connives this way, return up to one target spell to its owner's hand. And then, of course, Planeswalkers, we've got three Wandering Emperors and two Lilianas of the Bell. So it's kind of scattered. Uh, I got to keep playing with it just to kind of tighten it up. But this is where I landed right now. Now, why would you play this? Um, look, it's really good against Mono Black. It's really good against Boros. It's, I mean, it's really good against a lot of things. The things that it's not good against is Rakdosak. Um, Esper Midrange matchups for the Mirror. And then, of course... Um, the other one that I was thinking of, and I can't even think of right Oh, Mono Blue. Mono Blue kind of hands us our ass as well. So it's good against everything but like those three decks. And even then, it's still got pretty good uh, win rate at, a, at above 50%. I'd say it's probably a little above 55% without taking a look exactly at the stats. Here's the land package again. I'll just leave the link in the description below, guys. And there is Esper Midrange. I hope you guys enjoy it on a Saturday afternoon. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, I'll uh, close out the outro as well. But stay safe, be happy, and healthy. Peace. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. All right, we go first. Uh, yeah, I like it. We'll keep. Sure. 
So they're going straight into like an odd mix list? I don't know. I'll have to see. Rakdos, man. Of course, it's going to be the hardest matchup this deck has right off the bat. First game we play. Boom. Hardest matchup. It's good. suck a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. Powerful won't help. I'll do it nice now. This is a juicy secret. Enough with the mysteries. Uh, <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. Alright. Maybe I should have held up the 1-1, one -one, but I feel like drawing the cards better here. Yeah, well, probably should have held up the 1-1. One -one. It's alright. We can get Emperor back with Takanuma. Plus, we got a bunch of damage going in. Okay. So, we may have a way to kill it. You chose the wrong day to cross me. Thanks. I'll be taking that. Nice. I'll be back with friends. Uh, so that only does four for us. Hmm. Hopefully they block up with the five five. Yes. Oh my god, and we got those two through. Nice. Mission's compromised. Nice. Time to go.
Let's see if they got a way to stop it. I'm guessing, yeah, blood token to sacrifice to buy something. So if they got a way to kill this, then we still do one point of damage, which takes them to five. We can do Tenacious Underdog, which would take them to one. We can play the other Tenacious Underdog, which then they can't kill. They can only exile. So, yeah, these things are fine. These things are fine. Um, bruh. GG's. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. GG's. <laughs> this month's Patreon rewards feature some of the most impactful lotuses in Magic's history. Check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves. Okay. Every emperor ever in this deck. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, this was way better. We'll keep this. Way better. Yeah. So we had a mirror match. Okay. Who blinks first? Who blinks first? Sure. This is a lot of garbage for no reason. like that. Okay. Um Setting on ear tie, so sure. Start pushing it out of their hand.
We all have things we'd rather forget. Sure. The system can't fix it. Now, what do we have here? Oh, what do they have that we don't like? Um, tenacious underdog. Sacrifices must be made. Something you don't know. Don't do these things. There we go. Don't you see I'm trying to help? They gotta find a depopulate. Or a me hook. That's fine. Good game. I guess. Good game. I mean, it felt like we had control most of it. It's blink first mentality. They blinked. We won. GG's. <laughs> Alright. GG's. Alright, opponent goes first. Yeah, we'll give it a shot.
Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Oh, that's my cue to leave. the mess. All gas. Remember your training. Until next time, then. Exile the Raju. I mean, I'm not talking, man. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see.
how we greet our enemies. All right, GG's. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> yeah, man. It works all right. <laughs> GG. All right, guys, there was gameplay. So, yeah, there's a lot of versions of this deck list going out there. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. This is kind of where I'm at right now, just to kind of help control the meta and stuff. But this is an Esper mid range deck list. So, it is 10, it's supposed to go kind of aggro as well. Um, I think I'm going to try the Esper control deck list uh, that we're working on. So, uh, I think I like that better just because I'm more of a control player. But this has plenty of control going on. I mean, every creature in here has a purpose. And, uh, uh, it's really kind of a utility Esper mid-range deck list, so it's not as centered on control, hard control as it can be, which I think we're going to dive into on the next deck list, but this is Esper mid-range, and if you guys want something else that's, uh, you know, not the regular meta on the field that can still compete, this definitely do it, but uh, feel free to switch it up. The deck list is now yours. Hopefully you guys have a great one. Again, until next time, stay safe, be happy and healthy. Peace. Much love, guys. Have a great one.